One day after his arrest, critics say the Williamson County Sheriff is not holding himself to the same standards that he holds his deputies. Sheriff Robert Chody says he will continue in his role while under felony indictment. Former employees say that they were never given that option. KXAN's Caitlin Carmoot investigates. This is a classic case of do as I say, not as I do. Robert McCabe has represented or helped sheriff represent Civil several Service Williamson County Sheriff deputies fired by Sheriff Chody. One in particular, a detective charged with a misdemeanor DWI case. He was terminated as a uh, detective immediately by Sheriff Chody. His standard under his administration has been that if you are arrested, you are terminated that you are of no use to him as a peace officer. The Texas Municipal Police Association is helping fund two whistleblower lawsuits against the sheriff's office, alleging employees were fired for reporting policy violations. It has been going on almost nonstop. Kevin Lawrence says the association has fielded several complaints of wrongful firings since Chody has been in office. Chody was going to be held to the same standard he's held his other employees. He would have fired himself by now. We looked closely at the Williamson County Sheriff's Office discipline policy. While it says the agency abides by the philosophy that discipline must be applied consistently and uniformly, it ultimately leaves all discipline decisions up to the sheriff. He is the, the Congress, the president, and the Supreme Court when it comes to the sheriff's office. Look forward to prevailing in the election, being exonerated of these false charges, and continuing to protect and serve the people of Williams County. The sheriff's office didn't respond to our follow-up questions about discipline policies today. Sheriff Chody did deny any wrongdoing in his response to the indictment announcement yesterday. Let all the truth come out before you make a decision like that, and uh, you'll see what comes out, and people will realize the truth will prevail. Caitlin Carmo, KXAN News. We should note the TMPA says it is now endorsing Chody's opponent in the upcoming November election, and a significant part of Chody's response to the indictment announcement yesterday was to assert that it is politically motivated. He's charged with felony tampering with evidence for how he handled video and audio related to the in-custody death of Javier Ambler.